Wall Street is very, 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 very difficult. If you look at it, it's harder to get a job on Wall Street than it is to get into Harvard. The challenge is if you can't get a job or if you can't get a position uh, at Harvard, how are you going to get into Wall Street? Well, unlike Harvard, there's a very specific skill set, financial modeling, networking, and interviewing that go into getting a job on Wall Street. That's something that I've taught thousands of students successfully over the years and something that I could honestly teach to anybody. Wherever you're working, everybody's rowing the boat in the same direction. So it's not like you can get backstabbed and stuff like that. It's real teamwork, team effort but it's super, super competitive. You really have to make sure you keep up with everybody else. If everybody else is staying late, you need to stay late. If everybody else is working on deals, you need to work on deals. I would say it's very difficult to get the job, but keeping the job is also a huge part of it. Getting promoted, you really have to go above and beyond the call of duty. I would say working on many deals, um, doing difficult work, that's definitely going to help you tremendously. If you're not actually doing stuff that moves the needle, isn't really going to help you all that much. The most controversial part about getting a job on Wall Street is the political side of things. And that's where, you know, people have their family, right? So like dad has his son come or like the uncle has his nephew come, et cetera, et cetera. I would say that's like the biggest controversy that happens. In the grand scheme of things, it's pretty few and far between in terms of happenings because it's so tightly regulated. So there's typically not too much in terms of controversy. The training that I offer is very different from what you would get if you went to a business school. One of the key things is knowing how to build a financial model. Sometimes people will say, oh yeah, I built a financial model. It's like, dude, you didn't, all right? Unless you're building a financial model from scratch, you haven't built a financial model. And that's the expectation on Wall Street. Secondly, network. Nobody's taught how to network in school. To be able to pick up the phone, send an email, and to actually have the person pick up, there's an art to that. Lastly, interviewing. The biggest failure that I see people make, they memorize a bunch of information, they regurgitate it. If someone was asking you to do something and they knew the answer, like we don't have time for busy work. They're just going to answer it themselves. So people are giving you stuff because they don't know the answer and they want you to figure it out. If you answer something wrong, it is a problem. The reason why is there's so many different layers and filters. When you answer wrong to your like big boss, which is typically a managing director, that's gonna be a major problem. They're going back to the client and if they give the client the wrong information, that is going to be catastrophic. You have to remember when it comes to Wall Street, whatever bank you work for, that's not the only bank that's trying to get the business of this particular company. So if you come across as not being credible and not knowing what you're talking about, that could be the kiss of death. feel really discouraged. Oftentimes, you know, folks don't know what they're doing wrong. Am I saying something wrong? So the real key is feedback. The problem is it's very, very difficult to get feedback. So that's another thing that I really pride myself in, making sure we have mock interviews. You get good, solid, genuine feedback from people that know what Wall Street is all about. And that way you can actually fix whatever problems you have. That's where having a network comes in. That's where having mentors comes in as well. You need that open and honest feedback. It's not necessarily a particular word, um, unless you're really saying like, as you already know, I think that would be a little bit arrogant or cocky if you just said like, as we already know, because we're all investment bankers. It's like, whoa, bro, you haven't gotten here yet. I would say that's the type of stuff that you really want to avoid. You want to come across as super humble. You want to be very deferential and respectful of the people that you're interviewing with. I always recommend making eye contact, smiling a lot. That's going to be very important important, being super positive, and also understanding they're going to try to rattle you. If you know what you're talking about, say so. If you don't know what you're talking about, also say so. 
because they'll say like, are you sure about that? And you actually are. But now because they said that, you're gonna second guess yourself. Don't second guess yourself. You're cool. Just make sure you come across as knowing what you know, but also being very mindful and aware of what you don't know as well. the real key with what we do in the Road to Wall Street program to give folks confidence is we get them the reps. We get them the real world repetitions where they can build that confidence for themselves and also with us. Think about it. If I told you like, hey, I need you to shoot a foul shot for a million dollars. You've only shot one foul shot in your life. You're going to be like, dude, I don't know about that. But if you're like Michael Jordan, you're like, you're gonna give me a million bucks for this? Awesome. People that are at the end stage of the program, they get so confident, they're like, ask me anything. Because they've literally done it all and seen it all, and there's nothing that you could ask them that hasn't come across previously. You're gonna be very attuned to what's going on in the market, depending on the industry that you're in. The market in general, economics, knowing what's going on with interest rates, things like that, staying on top of that and really managing expectations. I really can't stress that enough. You definitely wanna under promise and over deliver. I know that sounds like super cliche, but you're gonna have multiple people asking you to do stuff and multiple people counting on you. And there's always some sort of deliverable. So typically you're gonna have a meeting with a client and you're gonna review the materials multiple times. There's gonna be multiple iterations of that that you're gonna do on a given uh, day. And that's really kind of the slog. It's the meeting that's scheduled and all the iterations that occur from the scheduling to the actual meeting itself. Movies are actually very accurate with like the crazy asks that people will have of you. I routinely ended up having to take materials to people's houses in the middle of the night. Uh, there was a funny story where I was in like a gated community and there were no street lights. So I'm like literally walking around trying to find this dude's house with a flashlight. So I'm like going around with this flashlight and eventually like the cops came and they're like, what are you doing here? I'm like, dude, I'm trying to deliver books. Like I'll hop in the back of your car and you could drive me to this dude's house. I don't actually look like a robber. I'm wearing a button down shirt and slacks. I don't <laughs> think I'm really that threatening. But that's the type of stuff that really does happen. It's a pretty simple answer. You're gonna have way more optionality than any other job. You have the ability to make money that you can't make anywhere else. If you work in investment banking on Wall Street, as an example, whatever you wanna do, the world's your oyster. You can do whatever you want from there. Lastly, life altering contacts. You're literally talking about working with the sons and daughters of political figures, celebrities. Think about the clients and customers that you're working with, CEOs, CFOs, people that are multimillionaires, in some cases, billionaires. So when you think about it, between the money, the optionality, and the contacts, there's really nothing that I have found out there that holds a candle to working on Wall Street. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Check out the free resource down below, and also check out the next video. Be relentless.